today i'm bringing the most requested popular most demanded video today it's about my canada pr journey how long it took me how much i used what are the things that i did so today i'll just tag it like a step-by-step -step guide on how to become permanent residency in canada of canada anyone Hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new here kindly click on the subscribe button please please grow this small community it is so important to me because that is how i know that i am actually contributing my small culture to help people back at home yes please please subscribe subscribe and if you are an existing subscriber yeah so today i'm bringing the most requested popular most demanded video today it's about my Canada PR journey, how long it took me, how much I used, what are the things that I did. So today I'll just tag it like a step-by-step -step guide on how to become permanent residency of Canada. I came through what we call Federal Skill Worker, also known as the Express Entry. That's what I did. I started the program just last year. So first thing you will do is evaluate your results you only need the highest highest qualification except if you have hnd for hnd i know people do two or more certificates points so maybe you now do ond and hnd but i started with transcripts because it's like the longest thing they have a timeline it takes longer maybe because of the school that i went so i went to the last so last took, took forever for me to send or verify my transcript to evaluate your results you can either do it with icas or you do it with west and some other bodies that is not that i don't know but for icas and west those ones they are the popular ones that people use i did mine with west so you will go to i'm going to drop the link the portal for the west you go to the west sites Please ensure you pick the immigration, not for academic purposes. There are a lot of rejection when you use academics for immigration and immigration for academics. Please, for this purpose, it is evaluate my results for immigration purposes. You pay to 50 Canadian dollars. How you make the payment is to reach out to any of your friends to help you make the payment here and you send the equivalent amount to them or you you can use your MasterCard, USD MasterCard, to make the payments. I remember we use USD MasterCard in my own case. So you use that one and you make your payments. After the payments, they are going to send you a reference number. That reference number is what you are going to take to your school to tell them you want them to help you send your results or your transcript to West. Now, for Lasso, I did it online. I think most of the school too you have to register online for your transcripts especially if you are using it for school or for immigration when we paid online i, I know for last two i think everything was fifteen thousand then for masters then they started the process the transcript got to west in like one month please note you cannot send the transcript to yourself it has to be sent from your school notes very important don't send anything to west they won't collect it so when Lasso sent my to West, after one month, then West will now send it back to the school for them to verify the results. Do you know Lasso collected extra 35k to just verify results, to just reply to their email. Like we had we were the one that sent this transcript to you. They collected 35k. Ha! Nigeria. They don't want us to jackpa, but we will jackpa. So that was why I paid another money for them to verify the results, which took another like one month with a lot of people helping me to go to the postgraduate school for them to attend to my file. Eventually, I got it. And, you know, like I said, it's like the biggest challenge for you, especially if you go to all these our uh, local university in Nigeria. So after it, when I was doing all the process, I was also 
preparing for the IELTS exam. The second thing you have to do on this journey is IELTS exam. IELTS, you can either do it with IDP or you do it, do it with British Council. I did mine with IDP, IDP MOD. It's nice, I don't know, because that's the only exam I wrote. I know some people wrote like seven. So on the day of the exam, we went, we wrote the exam. It's a Friday and a Saturday for me. I did speaking on a Friday. I did the other three on a Saturday. So the exam comprises of speaking, writing, listening, and reading. Out of these four, you need the listening part to be like very high for you to have a very high point in this our Canada thing because this Canada thing is like a point based thing where you put in all your credentials and they will tell you you have you have a particular point so you wait till they call that your points as at last two weeks I think they are still on 490 something so you know you need to aim very high for you to get to that point I'm going to drop a link for you to stimulate your CRS score so let's stimulate it together you see where this my finger is pointing to that's where you click then from there it will ask you take you to this place where you select your marital status you pick marry if you are married then you pick if your spouse is coming to Canada with you then they will ask you is he a citizen they will, then you pick your age then you pick your highest level of qualification. Like I said, HND can be two or more certificates here. Then they will ask you, do you have a Canadian certificate? Like the school in Canada, they will ask you, what is your official language for us in Nigeria? It is IELTS. Then you pick your language points. Pick it by fit anyway and read too. Then they will ask you, do you have any other language? You pick no, except if you have French too. They will pick, ask you for your work experience, job NOC. You pick it for many years and they, you pick. I had over five years. They will ask you if you have any experience in Canada. You pick no. Then... They will ask you a lot of other questions too. Do you have nomination certificates? Just follow this guide. It's going to guide you directly and give you your exact points. They will ask you, do you have a relative sister, brother in Canada? Note, cousin cannot work here. Then they will ask you, is your spouse com that is coming with you? Is he going to evaluate his results for us? My husband did not evaluate his results. They will ask you how many years of working experience does he have to. Then they will ask if you, if your spouse too is going to write IELTS. For us too, he did not write IELTS. It's just me that did the IELTS. Then you calculate your results. If you have this kind of results, please just pack your load the next day. This result is 494 or more. So those are the two you need. The two most important thing you need to enter into the express entry pool. I advise you start with West because our process in Nigeria is still like manual. It takes longer time and all of these things, they have their expiry period or validity period. For West, I think it's five years and for IELTS, it's two years. So you don't want to start IELTS. You don't want to write IELTS exam and you've not started West. You want to maximize your validity very well so for IELTS there are a lot of online um, sites that could help you to prepare for your exam e2 on YouTube IELTS bond booty um, there's a there's an app to IDP MOD they have an app and even British Council too they have an app where you do the exam like a mock exam for you as a practice so you want to do all of those to prepare for your IELTS now 
I got all those ready. I did my exam in April, April 2021, and I entered the pool. The exam is like 28 days or less to come out. And after it, when I saw my results, woo, I was able to enter into the pool. So I entered the pool June, ending of June 2021. And guess what? I got my PPR less than one year of entering the pool now for you to enter the pool and for you to be selected from canada is two different things i entered the pool june i didn't get ita ita in invitation to apply is what they call you there are a lot of abbreviations that you need to know ita is invitation to apply they will give it to you when they get to your point now i entered the pool june 2021 I didn't get ITA till December 2021. December 30th was when I submitted my application. And I submitted just in three days. Because I was already prepared for my mind. I did my medical like a week before. Like I said, add grace to anything you hear me say. And faith too. When we were expecting ITA for a very long time, we didn't get it. A week to that time, we exercised our faith and we went to do our medical. Do you know a week after we got ITA? So this is your jackpot journey, add faith. So this is your jackpot journey, add patience. So this is your jackpot journey, add grace. And so on and so forth. So it took me five months from ITA to my PPR. Like I said in my first video, if you've not seen it, you need to go back and watch. Your application get delayed if any of you your spouse or you you have um, a visa refusal now before you enter the pool or before you decide you need to decide who is going to be the principal applicants for me and my husband my age is lower compared to his and i have the highest qualification so that is the best person to apply for the pool because it's like a point base the higher your age the lower your points and the higher your, your qualification, the higher your grade too. So because I already had masters as a then, I we decided to use me as the principal applicant. So you need to factor all these things before you choose who is going to be the principal applicant if you are married. We did not use any agent. We did it ourselves. I did it by YouTube, just like you are watching. I got motivated by Tolu Lokwe solution. I know she doesn't even know me, but the day I saw a video of we are relocating to Canada, that was last year, February. That was when she posted the video. That day I decided I'm going to go to Canada too. So me probably you don't even know. Maybe like this time next year, you two are already saying I'm going to Canada or I'm in Canada because someone motivated you. And because Canada is a point-based system, they calculate your work no, number of years they calculate your number of years that you've been working like work experience for me i started working for like six years so it's a perfect one you need at least three years so that for you to max out the points for the work experience part so which was perfect for me and you want to check your NOC. NOC is like the code that gives you the perfect description, job description that you know in Nigeria for your work experience. So I'll put the link for the NOC for you to check the perfect match. Please, this thing, this work experience, job experience is very important. I know someone that got disqualified they rejected the application person had to start all over again because of picking the wrong noc now the link that i'm dropping here the link that you are seeing please check it just type a keyword you're going to, you're going to see your perfect match of knock and when you get it you make sure you see example of the job description below it Make sure your job description tally with what you are picking to avoid application rejection. Then 
for some some other persons they want to max out their points so they go in and do french french exam i didn't do french i only did the ielts so if you think you want to max out your point two you can try french the number one thing that you need as preparation for all this jackpot thing is international passport because you need it for almost everything even your ielts exam you need international passport so number one the key important thing that you need in all these relocation canada pr you need passports and if you are married you may want to ch change that marriage your name to your married name before you start i have to change my own because of i don't even want any adr as much as possible make your application simple so you don't have back and forth in your application i didn't get any adr reason for that smooth thing too plus god so you may want to keep your application very simple to avoid unnecessary adr then another thing that i did immediately i entered the pool is to fill all the pmp pmp is like provincial nomination some provinces doesn't allow you feel like alberta like ontario like bc though uh, like ontario too they'll pick from the pool directly but for some other friendly ones like this is my province manitoba saskatoon and others you can feel fill out their own too so for me i fill out everything especially the new brunswick you may want to fill that one especially because those people they do um job fair i got like two from them so you don't even want to take the risk of not filling out any of those pmp fill out as many pmp as possible and pick the best or anyone that comes Oh, way now, way. Just get to Canada and find your way. After the ITA, they are going to tell you to submit some other documents. Like I said, I submitted my own application in just three days because I already did my medical week two to show the list of everything they are going to request for your job reference, your police report, your medical, your passport photograph, your international passport, and your proof of fund. Very important so we did you cannot do police reports before ita so as soon as we got our uh ita we went straight that time police reports were still three five both of us did seven thousand you won't do for little children below 18 so both of us my husband and i we did just three three five which is seven thousand but i know now police report is like forty thousand nigeria my country alpha and for medical too just two centers in nigeria q life and iom we did with iom and i think for the three of us it's less than one fifty thousand. then you do passport photograph too for passport photograph we didn't stress we just went to studio 24 because they've been doing it for everyone without plenty shall I, so we just did with them too then for job reference on that job reference you have to check they they have what they want you to put on the job reference so you cannot just put anything like they want your salary they want your job roles your supervisor or your manager or your hr must sign the letter on letter headed paper unless if they don't have a letter headed you don't have any letter headed paper but i think there are other things that you need to put like your paste paste stub stops and all for me i didn't do any of those things i got just my letter reference letter because it's on my complaint letter edit paper so that was all i used so please make your application so simple not too much shall i hate to avoid adrs because it's not like us application where you go for interview and anything that is not clear they ask you for this Canada, you don't even know who is handling your application. Maybe the person is happy or maybe the, pe the person is not computer. It is human being like you and I. 
and you know mood now maybe the person i don't even know just just pray that whoever is handling your application is is, is in a good mood or something so you want to keep the application do you know how many applications they assign for the person for you to now start doing your necessary thing on that application good necessary so we did it to the simple bears anything they want is just what we give them if they are not asking for anything we did not give them people get adr because of lot of shalai it's just too much not clear not get any additional document required adr additional document required then you have to submit in 60 days so all these things that i said you will submit to them your job reference your uh proof of fund for your medical your pcc your passport your everything and if you are married too tell you to put evidence of your marriage so for this part so be careful in nigeria they only recognize our federal logo that logo on our marriage certificate is the only thing you can use please don't use church church certificates lot of rejection because some people use church certificates or mock certificates as marriage certificates please and please it is only federal marriage certificates that our logo that nigeria too or that's what they are accepting thank you for all the money that you will use for this relocation to canada you need proof of fund that proof of fund is not what you give to them you just need to put it in your account for it has to be in your account for like six months and you use official exchange rates so you will see the approval fund the, the required amount in canadian dollars but they will use the official rates of your country so for me is less than eight million for a period of six months we did not do bank draft we did not do um investments the amount was in our account trust me for six months without touching it i know it's, it's like our savings account so we're just adding money to it you can add money to it but you cannot withdraw for it to get reduced i hope you understand so for the money parts how much you require to relocate to canada aside the proof of fund that i'm going to that you are seeing and it depends on the number of your family like uh, the total number of people in your family for us is a family of three and it was less than eight million apart from having money from your, in your savings account or joint account as a couple you can also use some other things to show proof of fund for canada or eg like gift deed like um treasury bill double investment 75 percent of your pension etc so aside that one that you are not going to spend the number one is your waste that i said is 250 plus the the money they will be collecting from your nigerian school for your transcript too for me for last two it was close it was over fifty thousand for my west for my transcripts in lasso aside that one so that's number one for west west is um, constant 250 canadian dollars you convert it with the black market rate as that today black market is like 550 to one canadian dollars number two is your ielts which is less than hundred thousand two Number three is your police report money, which is like 30,000, between 30,000 and 40,000. Number four payment you need is medical fee. For us, it's 150K. And I think for single person, it's between 50 and 60. So for the application fee, I'm going to display it on the screen for you to understand it. Family of three, that time, I paid 3,045. $3,045. That was then but they increased the fee april so if you are a family of three that wants to submit your application as at today you are going to pay three thousand one hundred and thirty canadian dollars convert it 
with black markets because you need to pay the application fee and you don't know anyone that will pay for you we paid with our usd dollars that time the usd card and i think we paid two thousand less than two six for it i think one canadian to usd like 1.2 so that is all about pr how i got it how much i spent and number of months that i used i started my application june and i got my ppr june that is one year and meanwhile i did mpmp -MP. i submitted mpmp -MP september they gave me nomination in december i got ita in december and i got ppr in june and i'm in canada already so i hope all this video helps if you have any question i try to make it short so go to my comments below and ask them but for you to understand very well you need to watch all the other video of mine <laughs> so especially the first one you understand what all those adr ppr ita you understand what they mean better please subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you document for your spouse is the same thing as for your spouse is the same thing as what the pa is going to submit except for the proof of fund part and document for your child is just the medical of the child the best certificates of the child the international passport of the child and the passport photograph of the child that is all children are submitting less than 18 thank you i hope you you enjoyed the video any question go to my comment below i'm ready to answer all the questions see you bye